Hi, my name is Margarida and welcome to a new video. So this video is my February 2022 plan with me video. So I'm gonna show you how I did my spreads on my bullet journal for February this year. I'm really excited about this video because I changed the background and I changed the angles of the video but my tripod was not that stable so sometimes the video is a little bit shaky but not too much, not anything really really visible so I hope you like the new background and the new angles and let me know if you like it for me to keep it this way or go to the old way so February is my birthday month and it's always a really special month for me and I decided to use the color pink in this month because pink is my favorite color and it's also Valentine's Day so everything works around pink and yeah, I'm really excited to use pink. I don't know how many more times I can say pink. So this monthly theme is ships. So it's really easy, really simple to do and I wanted a cute fluffy theme and I decided to draw these ships and use the color pink to draw a border on the cover page and also write February, Fevereiro in Portuguese in these like funky letters, not that funky but these more bubbly style letters. So I decided to add some dots and add some grass near the ships. I really think it looks really pretty and really cute and it's more like a minimalistic theme so if you are interested in minimalistic themes on your bullet journal instead of big paintings or lots of doodles that you don't have time to do sometimes so you can do this, ship's theme is really cute and easy to draw. So in this spread I'm doing my calendar spread and I decided with this color pink yet again, this is a Crayola Super Tips and this month I only used 3 pens or 4 pens, 2 pink pens and 2 black pens. So I have a Muji pen, a 0.38 Muji pen. Then I have a Stadler pen, it's a little bit more thick. And then I have the Corella Super Tips pen and I have another Muji pen but in pink. And on my calendar spread I decided to do a Dutch door but we'll see that later. And I decided to add some lines to write my goals for the month. I like to divide my yearly goals throughout the year and throughout the month and I like to set smaller goals in that way I can achieve the bigger goals I have for the year. So in this touch door I decided to add my to-do list and to add my books of the month as I normally do in every setup that I do. And what do you think about these different angles like a side angle and a top angle? I think it gives more movement and more flowiness to the video and yeah I know I'm left-handed so maybe next time the side shot should be in the right side instead of the left side because in that way I don't cover what I'm writing or doodling and in this page I decided to write best memories in Portuguese or melhor memórias and for me to write the best memories I have of the month and because it's my birthday month I decided to use this whole spread but on the side I drew some chips because you can see it on the Dutch door and I think it looks really cute
So for the next spread I have my slip tracker and I decided to do the same layout I do every month so I'm not gonna explain myself too much but I have the hours of the day every day of month and I can put in what hour I went to bed and what hour I woke up. So don't you think January went by really really fast? I can't believe it's almost February and it's my birthday month and I'm really excited. Let me know if you are an Aquarius or not because hey! And this year is also the year I turned 25 so it's a big achievement and I'm not really excited to have 25. I'm excited to live life and everything but I don't know, I don't want to get old. I'm happy with my 24. Why 25? It's a quarter of a century. It's too many years. Too many years. I cannot believe that. So anyway, now you are seeing me doing my fitness tracker and as you know I like to work out every single day or at least move my body or take a walk you can do so many types of workout and you can do like smaller 10 minutes workouts or an hour long workout and you can play some sports like volleyball or tennis or you can just walk around your neighborhood or run or something like that it's really easy to move your body and I'm committed to move my body every single day in this whole year. So this spread is my mood tracker and I'm trying a different layout I saw in a Moshi Buju YouTube video. I'll link this particular video down below and I'll link her channel down below as well. And I was watching an old video from her where she designed different types of mood trackers and I really liked this one because as she was explaining we don't have just one mood throughout the day so with this mood tracker I can see where my mood is more towards the happier side or the sadder side. I'll link the video down below for you to see her explanation about this tracker but once it's filled out you'll understand a little bit better I basically i drew a line in every single day and if i'm like really sad and really happy i drew a line from the left like really left side to the right side of this table so if i am in a happier side i drew the line like towards the right side and I don't know, you have to watch her video because she explains this a lot better than I'm explaining so go watch the Moshi Bujum YouTube video where she explains how to use this tracker. And now this is my habits tracker and I decided with a round tracker. I haven't done this in a while and I've only used it on mood trackers and not in habit trackers so I'm excited to use this round tracker and the lines are a little bit wonky because I didn't want to have the work to use a ruler and use the materials that I need to do it in really perfect round shape but I don't know it gives character like chips are round and all wonky so it's fine And this is my expenses tracker and sometimes I see that one page is not enough for my expenses tracker it's not that I spend a lot of money but I spend like small chunks in 
various things and I like to have everything divided for me to see where I spent my money. So I decided to do a two pages spread for my expenses tracker in an horizontal way instead of a vertical way. So you have to rotate the notebook to write the expenses. And in this way, I have a lot more space for more expenses and I hope I don't spend more money, but it's a better way to use this tracker because now I can fit everything in the tracker and I was having difficulties with that. So this is the whole theme done. I'm not really happy about the ships because I have to be honest, you know because I thought they would be a lot cuter and it would be fun to draw but then I don't know I think the spreads are a little bit boring except of the mood and habits but then I smudged everything out so in the habit tracker so I hope when I feel everything it won't be that noticeable So yeah, thank you for watching this video, have a great February and have a lovely month and subscribe if you want to see more bullet journal content and follow me on Instagram as well to see the pictures of these spreads. Bye, see you next time!